Hey everyone, this is Tiffany of Tiffany Kelly Photography, and I am playing around with the Bellevue Avenue Resplendent Collection um, actions that they just released. And so I just wanted to sort of go through an image and um, show some examples of what I would do with the collection. Um, there's a ton of actions included and they're really flexible. Um, so I just wanted to sort of show an example of what I would use for an image. Um, this image I took at the Blissful Retreat with um, Lemon Made Photography and Sally Kate Photography, so I cannot take credit for the, the gorgeous styling um, that they did. But I really loved this image and I think that it had a lot of potential, so I thought it would be a good example um, to show. So I'm going to start with um, Luminous the set um, because I feel like it sort of helps you get your base set and then next I'll show um, the glow set which sort of has some like more creative add-on stuff. So within Luminous, um, the foundation that I like best for this image, I played around with it before. Um, my favorite one was Brilliance because it really just gives sort of a clean base to the image because um, I know I want to add some other more creative things later. Um, so to start, I really just wanted to start with a nice sort of clean um, base. And I could tell, you know, this is my straight out of the camera. I didn't do anything to it in, in RAW. Um, except straighten the horizon. So it's definitely, you know, dull, a little bit underexposed, a little bit cool, um, needs a little bit more contrast. So I feel like that, um, that one action achieves a lot of those things that it needed. Um, and then I'm going to play around with the portrait brushes a little bit, sort of just to show you, obviously these girls, um, are completely gorgeous and they don't really need anything but just to sort of show you an example, um, one that I really liked was this lashes and brows because it sort of just helps um, their eyelashes and eyebrows to sort of pop a little bit more. Um, so you just play that and it already sets your mask for you. So you just need to get your white brush um, and you could just paint it over really easily their um, their eyebrows and lashes just to sort of help darken them a tiny bit and add a little bit of pop. So that's before and after. So it's really subtle, um, which is what I like, especially for images of children. You know, I think it should be um, really subtle. And then another thing I really liked was the creamy smooth skin. So I'm just going to play that. Um, and just brush it on the areas that might need a little bit of smoothing. So again, white brush, and you want to make sure, um, you know, to make it small because you don't want to run over their eyes or, um, or lips or anything like that. And it's really easy to just sort of brush on, like her cheek especially. Had a couple little scratches on it. Um, so that's before and after. So it just sort of helps to smooth the skin a little bit and give a little bit of a glowy look, um, which works well for the image because, you know, it's very sort of soft and, and dreamy image. Um, so let's see what else we can play with. Um, I really liked these light washes and I love that they include this play all because sometimes it's like, I don't know which one will work for a particular image and then I find myself, um, you know, play one and turn it off and play a different one. So it's really nice that they include these play all. So what you do is just hit that and it goes through um, really quickly and it plays them all and then you can just turn each one on or off um, so you can really quickly see what each one does to your image. So just to show you, those are all of them. Um, and I really like these because I feel like they give a little bit of a matte effect, which I really like um, for my images. So I'm trying to remember which one was my um, favorite. I think I liked this one. Actually, I think I like that one. 
it just um, softens it a little bit and gives it a little bit of a matte look that I really like. Um, so yeah, I'm, and these are nice and subtle, so you know, it's like you could really use more than one if you wanted. You can sort of mix and match um, and do what you like. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Um, the color shifts is really nice. It has the same thing where you can play all and then sort of pick. Um, I don't think I'm going to use any of the, actually yeah, I am, I really liked the angel glow one. Um, but then I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And I think that helps to sort of warm the image. It still needs a little bit warming. Um, so that looks good to me. And then let's see, um, that's all we have for this set. But we also have this whole other set. Um, and these are sort of more, um, you know, specific, um, sort of more creative actions. Um, so let's see, I'm trying to find the brushes that I really liked. Okay, so there's some really great brushes here. Um, for me, their skin still feels a teeny tiny bit dark, so I'm going to use this mid-tone light brush and play that. And um, again, it gives you your layer mask. You want to make sure you have your white brush. And then I'm going to just paint it um, on their skin just to help brighten them a little bit. So that's before and after. And that looks good to me. And then let's see, another one that was really perfect for this image was this Bluer Skies and Water. Um, because it was overcast and so the, the water is definitely a little bit dreary. The sky doesn't really bother me. Um, so I probably won't um, paint it on the sky as much. But so what I'll probably do is paint one layer um, on the whole image. And then I'll probably go back and do another layer on the water only. Because I just really want to help, um, help the water because it's looking kind of gloomy and dreary. So that is like magic. I feel like that drastically improved um, the image with just a couple clicks. So I really like that one. And I'm excited to try out these with images um, with a lot of green because I don't usually shoot at the beach. I'm usually shooting um, with a lot of grass and trees and greens. Um, and especially this cooler one sounds great because I, um, I really hate greens that look really yellow. Um, so I'm excited to play with those. And then the last thing I'm going to play with, oops, strong way, is the, um, they have all these, like, sunbursts. And the nice thing about these, um, compared to other actions I've tried, is that these are really subtle. Um, I didn't really think that it, I could get one to work for this image um, when I was playing around with them because there really is no um, clear sun direction in this image. Um, it was really overcast, you know, and the beach and the sand sort of reflect the water everywhere. Um, but I thought it would be nice to sort of add some peach to the sky to sort of bring out um, the peach in her pretty dress. Um, so I thought I would try it just to see, and I was shocked at how well it worked um, because they're really subtle. So I'm going to show you this peach. Um, this is a creamy sunburst. And so you just use the move tool and drag it around. Um, so you can put it wherever you want, which is really nice. Another one I really like is the um, peach glow. It's um, similar to the other one, but it's a little bit um, bigger and sort of more diffuse. So it's really pretty. Um, so, and you can pick left or right, so I'm going to do left, um, and see it sort of is larger and sort of makes a glow over the whole image, um, whereas this one, um, the sunburst was just a little bit smaller and sort of more localized, so I kind of really like this one. It sort of just creates a big um, sort of peach wash over the, over the whole image, which is really beautiful. Um, so what I'm going to do, just to show you now that I'm done with my edit, is I'm going to group um, 
all the actions I played together and just show you. So that's my before image and that's the after. Um, so pretty huge transformation. Um, and it was really quick and just took a couple of clicks. Um, and again, the actions are just really fun to play with and they're really flexible. Um, and I love that, you know, you can turn down the opacity of everything, everything that should have a mask, you know, automatically comes with a mask, which is really nice. Um, everything's grouped really nicely. So they're just really easy to use. Um, and I think they did a great job on this image. So thank you for watching.